compounds if we get a 5% increase this year and another increase next year, then at some point it adds up to the cost of an entire officer. And some local police and fire departments say the rising cost of 911 could leave them with a different type of emergency. Good evening, everybody. The cost of getting police and firefighters to you quickly is about to go up, and you will pay either out of pocket or with cuts to some emergency services. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hurst explains what the rising cost means to you. I'm William 626. There's no way you can put a price tag on a life. For example, when a little boy called 911 to get help for his mother. My mom down down the steps. How old's your mom? What? How old is she? How old are you, Mom? 24. But while you cannot put a price tag on a life, you can put a price tag on the call to save a life, dispatching a fire company, ambulance, or police car. Nine George, 13. Eighteen dollars and thirty cents. That's what the Hamilton County Communication Center charges various local governments per police, fire, or EMS dispatch. County commissioners plan to increase that fee by five percent, or just under a buck. Now you might think increasing the dispatch fee by a dollar a run. You know, it's a dollar. How much could that uh, do to anybody? Well, the problem is there are thousands of dispatches, and you add a dollar to each one of those, it adds up. The comm center dispatches nearly 300,000 runs a year. All the local police departments will be forced to spend more money on communications, which then will leave less money for hiring police officers or keeping the number of officers that they have. Green Township Chief Bart West has the communications group of the Hamilton County Police Chiefs Association. The chiefs hope county commissioners will reduce the increase. I think that's pretty true of most police departments now because all of the cuts to local government funding from the state level that that everybody's kind of tight right now. One option is to add a 911 service charge to your phone if that was legal. 47 states let local governments do that. Ohio does not. So, if you've got one of your largest line items that increases 5% plus you have an increased call volume, it obviously means you got to cut other things. Well, there is no talk of layoffs for now, but as the chief said, if coughs keep going up, something has to give eventually. The county has a 911 study commission which will recommend some other options next year, but the state legislature so far does not want to allow a per phone fee which other states use, which in Hamilton County would be about a dollar and a half a month per phone.